Amory has nine lollipops. Everybody's listening. Hold on. Everybody's got to listen first. So you hear the whole story, the whole problem. Then I'll read it again and then you can start working, okay? Started doing the math circles uh, in December of this last year, 2013. And we did our first one. And it was very simple. The students really hadn't uh, got into writing equations yet, but they used the strategy of drawing pictures. And they actually did pretty well. Besides uh, learning how to solve a subtraction word problem, I wanted them also to use the four C's with the Common Core. I wanted them to practice communicating and collaborating and critical thinking and also creativity. And the mass circles uh, is, a, is a great activity uh, for the students to use those skills that they need uh, to do the Common Core um, standards. This is the way the math circle works. The teacher reads the problem and the students work independently to try to solve the problem. Amory has nine lollipops. Four are red and five are green. She gave her friends three lollipops. How many lollipops does she have left? How many red and green lollipops does she have now? Amory has nine lollipops. And you are solving this independently, right? You are doing that first. You're, you're solving it independently before we talk. Four are red. And five are green. She has nine lollipops. Nine. The toolkits, they, they have all the tools in them, and the students, and when they're doing a mass circle, get to pull out whatever they want to use. And this is the creativity part of the four C's. They get to choose how they're going to solve the problem and whatever tool they want to use. If they want to use linker cubes or they want to use uh, the number line or the 10 frames. And that's part of the choice. And that's what, as you observe, you need to note that. They chose to, to use this. And then you can, you can watch them and then you can have them come up and show. As I'm walking around and observing, I see students working and I can look down at their table and I can see, oh, they've got the problem right. They, they understand what, a, what the problem is all about. Um, and as long as they're representing the problem, it doesn't have to always have, it doesn't have to have the equation, but they're showing it with drawing or even with the manipulatives. And as you're walking around observing, that's what you need to note. So the teacher is more of a facilitator and, and you, don't, you, you shouldn't hear too much of her voice. You want to be listening to your students and uh, listening to how they're thinking. Okay, now's the time we're gonna talk about our solutions and describe to our, our table partners how we figured it out. Okay, the person with the talking block does the talking. Everybody else listens. If you have a question about their work, what they did, you can ask them a question, okay? And then after uh, they've solved the problem, then you, then you work the kids talk in their table group and they talk about how they solved it and at that time students are are evaluating their own thinking and thinking well did I did I make a mistake did I uh, just evaluating what they did plus you know looking and learning from the other student Red, and then I put red, and then I put red, the color, and then I put, I'm done, I'm done. 
So after the conversations are done, you will have selected in, in that process of walking around three, three to four students to present their, um, their work. And you want to select um, different levels of how they, of, of thinking. What'd you do first? Write the sentence. Did you write a sentence? What did you write? Nine take away three is six. Did you know that right away? Or did you have to do something to figure that out? What'd you do here? Draw. What'd you draw? Lollipop. How many did you draw? Did you draw? Nine. Why did you draw nine? Because Amory had nine. Because Amory had nine, okay. And it's important to let the students talk and explain how they did it because another uh, child might understand it better than from the teacher. And let's look at Marcus. Marcus, can you tell us how you solved the problem? I used my linker cubes. Oh, he used linker cubes. Say that again. I used my linker cubes. And what'd you do with those linker cubes? I put the red together, then the green, then I take the, the three array, then I had two green and and four red. Wow. So nine take away three is six. So what did you do to solve the problem? I used the number line. You did? How'd you use it? Oh, let me get out my toolbox. I took away three. Wh which number did you start at? Nine. And then you took away how many did you say? Three. And what did you end up with? Six. Six. Great. Okay. So you want to read what you have? Nine take away three equals six. And you want them to feel successful. And then as you go along, you're going to put more rigor in it. You're going to, you're going to add that two-punch question. So they have to do more thinking. <laughs>